even though they are currently extinct. A long time ago, these terrifying creatures roamed the Earth. Today, we present you with 13 of the scariest prehistoric animals. Today's video was done in collaboration with Down the Rabbit Hole. More on that later. Number 13. Megatherium It's fairly hard to imagine the present-day sloth with its slow and lazy demeanor as a menacing creature. However, its Pleistocene ancestor, the Megatherium, didn't look so harmless. In addition to being roughly the same size as a modern-day elephant, it had large and powerful claws and scientific evidence suggests that it was even capable of bipedal locomotion. Also known as the giant ground sloth, this creature is one of the largest land mammals known to man, weighing up to 4 tons and measuring more than 20 feet from head to tail. The sloth would rise on its strong hind legs and use its muscular tail to form a tripod that supported its weight as it pulled down tree branches to eat the leaves. The common consensus is that the sloth was exclusively a herbivore, but there have been several scientific claims that it might have been carnivorous as well. If this is true, it would mean that it could have taken over the kills of Smilodon also known as the saber-toothed tiger. Megatherium inhabited the grassland and woodland environments of present-day South America as recently as 10,000 years ago. The appearance of human hunters in the area has been cited as a possible reason behind its extinction. Number 12. Asdarkid once believed to be a species of winged dinosaur, this prehistoric animal was in fact closer related to the gigantic marine monsters that lived around the same time during the Cretaceous period. The Asdarkid was a species of large flying reptiles known as Pterosauruses. Its name is derived from the Persian word for dragon, a fitting comparison considering the fact that these creatures were as tall as giraffes with wingspans that exceeded 50 feet and weights of over 500 pounds. As darkids had very long necks, huge elongated heads, spear-like jaws, and toothless beaks which enabled them to eat larger animals than other pterosauruses. There's been a debate in the scientific community on how as darkids would feed and whether their massive size could still allow them to fly. The common conclusion is that these animals could soar across great distances and feed by hunting the smaller creatures on the ground, but mostly led a terrestrial existence. Number 11. Therizinosaurus The feature that makes the Therizinosaurus so scary is not its massive size of 33 feet in length and up to 5 tons in weight, but the enormous claws on each of the three digits on its front limbs. They are believed to have reached 3.3 feet in length, making them the largest claws of any known animal. The Therizinosaurus is believed to have been bipedal, with a broad body and elongated neck. Despite the frightening appearance given by its distinctive claws, most scientific evidence suggests that the Therizinosaurus was probably an herbivore. Number 10. Diodon with a massive skull that could grow up to 3 feet in length, strong neck muscles, and a large, bulky body, the Diodon was the last and largest of the Intellidons, an extinct family of pig-like omnivores often referred to as hell pigs or terminator pigs. These creatures roamed the Earth approximately 37 million years ago and stood as high as 6.5 feet at the shoulder with slender, hooded legs that were built for speed. They had full sets of teeth which included powerful molars, heavy incisors, and large canines. Similar to other intellidonts, diodons had bony lumps on each side of their heads, a possible attachment point for strong jaw muscles. Even the etymology of its name makes the diodon a frightening creature, as the word is derived from the Greek deos meaning dreadful and odon meaning teeth. Number 9. Meganura an ancestor of the modern-day dragonfly, the Meganura is one of the largest known flying insects. It has a body length of approximately 1 foot and a wingspan that measured around 26 inches. It is believed that the Meganura was carnivorous and predatory, feeding on other insects, amphibians, and small invertebrates. One possible explanation for the insect's gigantic proportions is found within the correlation between giganticism and the availability of oxygen. Simply put, the atmosphere contained more oxygen at the time, which allowed insects and other creatures to grow larger. Number 8. Jacloptorus This terrifying creature was the top predator of the waters it inhabited. 
The Geoclopterus is currently the largest anthropod ever discovered with a total length that exceeded 8 feet, making it larger than a fully grown human. Also known as the giant sea scorpion, this alien-looking creature had a segmented body with multiple specialized limbs, some of which featured spikes. When it extended the chelicari from its claw-like mouth, the Geoclopterus added 3.3 feet to its overall length. It lived around 390 million years ago, and despite its nickname, it's believed that the Geoclopterus preferred freshwater rivers or lakes and most likely never ventured into the ocean. Number 7. Dunkleosteus Today, our oceans are home to many scary creatures, but around 360 million years ago, when the Dunkleosteus swam their waters, the situation was much different. As a hypercarnivorous apex predator, this creature reigned supreme without facing threats from other animals. One component that added to the fearsome reputation of the Dunkleosteus was its sheer size. The Dunkleosteus terelli, the largest of the species, measured up to 30 feet in length and weighed over a ton. It was a slow but powerful swimmer with a heavily armored exterior. Instead of teeth, it possessed two pairs of sharp bony plates that formed a structure resembling a beak. The Dunkleosteus could open and close its mouth on its prey in roughly 50 milliseconds and generate high bite forces that enabled them to bite through armored prey. Number 6. Megalania Even though Komodo dragons are currently the biggest lizards on the planet, they still pale in comparison to their prehistoric ancestor, the Megalania considered the largest terrestrial lizards ever discovered. Also known as the Giant Ripper Lizard, this beast inhabited southern Australia during the Pleistocene. The youngest fossils have been dated to around 50,000 years ago, which would mean that the first aboriginal settlers might have encountered giant ripper lizards. If this is true, they would have stood in front of a monster measuring over 23 feet from head to tail and weighing up to 1,500 pounds. It is suspected that these giant lizards belong to the Toxicophera clade, meaning that they possess oral glands capable of secreting toxins. This would make the Megalania the largest venomous vertebrate in known existence. Number 5. Gigantopithecus Yeti, Sasquatch, and other mythical ape-like creatures would most likely pale in comparison to the Gigantopithecus. This genus of ape is believed to have existed as recently as 100,000 years ago in the area that is now India, China, and Vietnam. It lived in the same geographical location and the same time frame as several hominin species. The orangutan is the closest living relative of this creature, with several significant differences, particularly when it comes to size. Adult male Gigantopithecus black eye were enormous creatures, especially when compared to humans. They were almost 10 feet tall and weighed well over 1,300 pounds with an arm span that exceeded 11.8 feet. Gigantopithecus black eye were four times heavier than present-day gorillas when considering that the gorilla is several times stronger than a human being, one can only imagine the strength of this prehistoric ape. Its imposing size meant that a fully grown adult specimen had almost no natural enemies. Gigantopithecus extinction is believed to have been caused by climate change which turned the plants within its environment from forest to savanna, and the ape didn't adapt to the new food sources. Number 4. Leviathan Melvilli Its name was inspired by a biblical monster and by Herman Melville, the author of Moby Dick, a novel about a giant whale. When considering the etymology of its name, it's not hard to imagine what Leviathan Melvilli might have looked like. It was similar in size to a modern-day sperm whale, measuring up to a staggering 57 feet in length with an average skull size of 9.8 feet. Leviathan melvilli had massive, robust jaws which, unlike those of sperm whales, were equipped with sets of functioning teeth. This creature's teeth are actually among the largest ever discovered, measuring over 14 inches in length. Along with the megalodon, a species of giant shark similar to present-day white sharks, Leviathan melvilli was the apex predator of its time. Number 3. Liopleurodon an apex predator of the middle to late Jurassic period, this marine reptile could effectively kill almost any creature it came across. It weighed as much as 3,700 pounds and measured up to 23 feet. 
Despite their enormous proportions, these creatures were powerful swimmers, using a four-flipper propulsion mode typical of the Plesiosauria order that they belonged to. Their swimming system gave them excellent acceleration, which they would use to ambush various prey. Their mass and swimming prowess were not the only characteristics that made Liopleurodon such formidable predators, as they also had numerous razor-sharp teeth and considerable bite strength delivered from jaws that measured up to 10 feet. It is also believed that they had good eyesight and that they could use their nostrils to scan the water in order to determine the source of certain smells. Number 2. Sarcosuchus Because of its long body and scaly appearance, the Sarcosuchus bore a resemblance to the modern-day crocodile, nicknamed Supercroc. This animal was not actually a crocodile, but had many of the same terrifying features. These included muscular tails, powerful jaws and muscles, sharp teeth, and armor-like plates known as osteoderms that covered the creature's body from head to tail. The largest Sarcosuchus specimens were about twice the size of a saltwater crocodile and are believed to have weighed up to 10 tons. The skull of a Sarcosuchus imperator, the largest member of the species, was determined to have measured 5 feet in length. Unlike present-day crocodiles, these reptiles kept growing at a constant rate throughout their lifetime, meaning that they could reach gigantic proportions, becoming a worthy rival for any predator of the early Crustaceous period. Number 1. Arthropleura Many people are terrified of insects and bugs, especially of those larger in size. However, none of the creepy crawlers that are around today can compare to the creatures that lived around 300 million years ago that belong to the Arthropleura genus. They are the largest known land invertebrates ever discovered. These gigantic millipedes could reach sizes of up to 8 feet in length and were possibly the apex predators of their environment in the late Carboniferous period. Would you be brave enough to take a picture with a shark like this? Most people would say no. This picture, widely circulated online, was found to be a Photoshop, which is lucky for us, because in real life hammerhead sharks are incredibly aggressive. Hammerhead sharks have a 360 degree range of vision, 